In previous years, I've uh, maintained a written blog on the club website, uh, and this year, in keeping with um, other videos that have appeared from around the club, uh, we're going to move on to a video blog uh, for this year, and we'll start this one with a bit of an update on what's happened through the course of the winter. Uh, probably the most exciting news from a cricket perspective uh, has been Jimmy extending his contract through to the end of the 2014 season and uh, something I'm very pleased about and nothing less than he deserves. Um, he's worked extremely hard uh, achieving some, some good things last year and um, we want to see that continue. And with the group of young players that we've got, um, we think they can go on a, on a bit of a journey together and, and we're all very pleased that Jimmy's extended his contract. On the cricket front as well uh, this season, we uh, see Callum Haggett join the squad. Uh, he played for the second eleven last year in the championship winning uh, side and so it's great to have him. Uh, he was in the England under-19 um, side and actually Adam Ball I think took his place uh, in that squad. Uh, so a player with um, pedigree and uh, look forward to seeing him in action later in the season. Um, the club's taken the decision to reduce our day-to-day um, -day commitment at Beckenham. Clearly that ground has cost a lot to run over recent years and we've taken the view that um, a, a much curtailed operation at Beckenham allows us to work through the re redevelopment programme uh, there. We've got aspirations to see that as a real centre of excellence, a new indoor school, uh, new astroturf um, pitches, uh, as well as spectator seating. Um, but that is a long-term plan. It hasn't come through as quickly as we'd hoped for. Uh, and so we're now just going through a period where a much reduced operation, still maintaining our interest at Beckon and, and keeping it up to a high level in terms of cricket facilities, but allowing us time to make sure the nuts and bolts are in place to allow the commercial aspects of that programme to commence. Uh, and then we'll return to Beckenham as and when that happens. Obviously, during the winter as well, we uh, announced that the club has a new club captain, um, James Treadwell, who takes over from Rob. Uh, Rob having done the job fantastically for seven seasons, um, and uh, we've hardly seen Treaders since, um, since that announcement, uh, as his England career has really taken off, and um, it's great to see him back in New Zealand now uh, with the Test squad. Um, we do hope to see him back here at some point soon, uh, and we'd like him to uh, have a very successful season for the club, but clearly um, it's wonderful news for him, uh, and great to see a Kent homegrown player go on and uh, play for England. In the, in the coming weeks we're, we will be sending out members mailings uh, and those mailings contain all the information for the season and also details of the AGM and with that uh, you'll get your copy of the annual report and accounts and about that time we'll make an announcement about the financial year uh, to 2012. Um, as everybody is aware it's not been a great last 12 months and, and clearly last summer was a real challenge with the weather. Uh, so. Uh, we're expecting to announce um, fairly disappointing results uh, and those will come out in the next couple of weeks. The big uh, news off the field I guess is that the club has started work with McCarthy and Stone on a development uh, on the old Dover Road side of the ground. Uh, as you know uh, we've long held an aspiration to see a hotel built on that side of the ground uh, but the reality is with uh, the economic environment as it is and a new development of um, a hotel on the new Dover Road, uh, not far from the St Lawrence ground, it's become increasingly obvious that that isn't going to happen. Uh, so we've started to develop other ideas uh, leading to the partnership with McCarthy and Stone and over the coming months we'll start to talk about um, what those proposals might entail uh, with a series of consultation with local residents, uh, members, local businesses prior to submitting a planning application. Also off the field we've been uh, working with our commercial sponsors and, and this year we've announced already um, Wilkins Kennedy joining, um, joining the club as a, a commercial partner uh, and watch this space because there are more announcements prior to the start of the season um, including a, a new headline sponsor um, but new, more, more news on that um, shortly. Uh, this Saturday at 23rd of March we're hosting the first one day one game conference uh, which is the first time I think in this country that the whole game has worked together to promote the game of cricket from grassroots level uh, right up to professional level, certainly on a county basis and it's a conference that encompasses all aspects of the game from spectating to groundsmanship, umpiring, playing um, 
we've got a couple of high profile people, Mike Gatting, Joel Edwards, uh, Jimmy Adams, and there'll be a question time style event at the end of the day. Uh, it's not too late to come along. Uh, I think tickets uh, go off sale on Wednesday this week, um, but it should be a great day celebrating all aspects of cricket in the county.